Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Ford B-Max. A uh, new one into me this week, just arrived. I'm going to take you around and show you everything in terms of spec that I can see. I'll go around as much detail as I possibly can. In terms of defects, obviously I can't show you every single stone chip because you know it's a used car that's been on the road for, what's that, seven years now. Um, but I will point out anything basically bigger than the stone chip and anything I would like to know about you know, if I was buying the car from distance, which a lot of you are now. So let's go around, have a look at everything, and I will point out as and what I can. Uh, right, the colour, black, uh, metallic black. It's uh, Ford referred to it as Panther black. Uh, it's the one they've been using for a long time, so a standard metallic black. Daytime running lights, the LED ones up on the top there, and then you've just got your normal halogen headlights there. Uh, the toe and eye cover looks like someone's done a bad job of getting that out in the past. It's left a little indent in there. 15 inch alloys. Uh, three of the tyres are Continental and then there's one budget brand one on there. I'll point that out when we get to it. In terms of marks on the wheels, a couple of small ones just there. Overall these are pretty good though. Indicators built into the wing mirrors. Gaps all look good, colour match all looks good, and it's HPI clear. I can't spot any poor previous paintwork or anything like that. A uh, very light tint to the privacy glass through the back. You've got a, if you really look for it, you can see, if I get it in the right angle, you might just be able to see it there if I move from side to side. Tiny little dent on that wheel arch. Roof's all good. High level brake light built in up here. You've got a bit difficult to see because they're black on black, but you've got your parking sensors along the back there. I'll open up the boot now. Really good size boot on these. Really good size for a sort of mid range, mid size, should I say, family car. If you don't need the seven seats, if this is five, it's a huge five seater basically. Um, right, so this little bit here just holds the false floor up which I'm going to open up in a minute. You've got lighting in here as well and these little things, these are removable if you wish as well. So right, up goes the false floor. That gives you all that additional storage underneath for bits that you don't necessarily want on display. And then under that is the goop for uh, if you get a puncture. Now there should be a compressor in here as well but it's missing. So remind us about that when you're buying it and we will get one ordered for you. goes back down like that and that goes like that um, doesn't come with a parcel shelf didn't come into us with one so this is how we are selling it basically uh, no marks that I can see on that wheel there I'm not sure if I did this wheel here uh, no, no marks on there either little bit of lack of peel just on the bottom edge of that. That's the bumper there, isn't it? Not the arch. And onto there. A uh, couple of absolutely miniature ones just down there. There we are. That's the outside done then. We'll have a look inside now. I'll start at the back. Uh, this is one of the, un not unique, but out of the ordinary parts about the car is the big sliding door. So if you've got kids or elderly passengers or perhaps less able-bodied or whatever, um, much easier to get in and out because you don't have to contend with the door. Cup holders there, isofix points for the two outer rear seats. As you can see, it's a black and grey sort of cloth mix. Grey headlining, which is in good order. There's the lighting. Loads of legroom. Massive, massive legroom. I couldn't work out what that was for. Maybe for holding a pen or something. I couldn't get it to action in any way. Or maybe it's just a hook for hanging things on. Uh, little nets there for magazines as well. And you've got another cup holder and 12 volt point there that you can access from the front and the back. There is electric windows as well, of course. The button's tucked away there. And on there is the release if you're inside for the sliding door. I'll take you around the other side, obviously much the same, but it's obviously important to show that both 
both of those doors are working properly. A little bit of glue or something stuck there will get that off. Valitas must have missed that. Right, into the front now. Electric windows in the front, of course. Same black and grey cloth. That could do with the shampoo. We'll get that done. Airbag can be turned off there. In here is nothing but the locking wheel nut. The book pack is over there. I'll show you that when we get there. Should put that in there, really. Storage nets. Head round to the driver's side now where we'll finish off. Okay, so electric windows all round as you've already seen. They can be locked here. Electrically adjustable mirrors, these are power folding as well. Press the bottom button there, and they fold in, and then they fold out, exactly as they should. There's the aforementioned book pack. Two in there. I think it's one for the radio, one for the car itself. I'll include a picture of that spread out anyway so you can see exactly what's there. Uh, non genuine mat in the front there. Driver's side, you get height adjustment on the seat, which you didn't get over on the passenger side. A bit more of that adhesive type stuff there. We can get that off, obviously. Airbags built into the side of the seats, and I'm going to get in to show you the rest of it. There's your lighting controls. Got fog lights on there as well. Two keys, both original Ford ones. Got your wipers over this side, indicators and trip computer on this side. There's the miles, if you're having trouble reading that, it's 86,706. And look at that fuel. Three quarters of a tank and a 1.5 diesel, that should last you a while. Steering wheel here, uh, I'll call it multifunction, because it has got a few buttons on. Audio and the speech. Just show you that in action. Please say a command. Cancel. Canceling. There you are, so that's all working. Got an airbag built in there as well, of course. Right, back over to the screen. Sat nav, as you can see. I'll just go through all the buttons there and show you what's what. CD. Previous owners left Celine Dion in there. We'll leave that for you to demo the radio. DAB. Two lots of DAB. AM and FM. I'll turn that down so we don't get any copyright issues. Auxiliary is Bluetooth audio, sync, which is the Ford system, USB, and then the phone, just there. So that's those buttons there. I was using down that side. Your disc slot is there, locking buttons and hazards are there, then the rest of that all relates to the radio. Your uh, aircon controls are there. Auto stop start can be turned off there, and that lets you know if the passenger airbag's been turned on or off. Uh, then 12 volt point and your two inputs, USB and the headphone jack style auxiliary. Five speed manual gearbox, cup holders, traditional handbrake, not an electronic one, and then that you've already seen, accessible from the front and the back, the cup holder and the 12 volt point. Vanity mirrors with no illumination. Wide angle rear view mirror, keep an eye on the kids in the back. Lighting, and that looks like a normal rear view mirror to me, not a uh, auto dimming. And that's about it. That's everything that I can see on the vehicle. If I've missed something that you're hoping to see demonstrated, like the heated front screen, which I thought I'd missed until now, um, please do give us a shout and I'll pop out and check for you straight away. I include as many pictures as possible of interior, exterior and paperwork um, along with this narrated walk around video. The idea is to give you a transparent and honest view of what the car is like. They are all second hand mechanical items, um, very few cars are in perfect condition so I, I aim to illustrate as much as I can in the video and the pictures. Um, the, we started doing that in Covid um, because we could only sell by delivery and it's, it's carried on and been quite good to us. So. If you're looking at this car and you're miles away and you don't want to come down to the site but the the pictures and video have inspired the confidence in you to make a purchase just give us a bell we'll take a small deposit off you deliver the vehicle if you're unhappy with it obviously you can reject it 
Um, if you're happy with it, you pay the balance and leave the car with you. It's, it's quite an easy scheme, but um, if you'd like some further clarification on that, just, just give us a bell, we'll run through it. Obviously, if you're more local to the site or you, you, know, you want to travel down from whatever distance, there's, obviously you can, here we are, main road site, just on the border of Fairham and Gosport. Loads of cars to look at, and the site is accessible seven days a week. However, we're a small two-man team, we're not necessarily on site all day every day. So if there's a particular car you're interested in and you want to get behind the wheel of, please do phone up and make an appointment first. I uh, don't want to disappoint you by having you drive three hours and then we're out picking up cars. So just trying to stress, it is imperative that you make an appointment. Okay, so everything I've got to say on the matter. So uh, thank you very much for watching.